Hello everyone and welcome to Rail Knowledge and News YouTube channel. Today, we are going to talk about automatic train protection. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. By 2050 it's projected that more than two-thirds of the world population, which represents around 7 billion people will live in urban areas. Railway operators aim to increase capacity while keeping their networks safe. Automatic train protection is playing a major role to do that. Do you want to know how? Let's see. Train protection is a family of functions whose purpose is to assure the safety of train movements by preventing collisions and derailments which continually checks that the speed of a train is compatible with the permitted speed allowed by the signaling system. The main functions that make up train protection are Train detection, to monitor the track to determine the presence and location of trains. Train separation, to ensure that trains on the same track maintain a safe following distance to prevent collisions. Route interlocking, to prevent trains on crossing, merging, or branching routes from making conflicting and unsafe moves that would cause a collision or derailment. Overspeed protection, to ensure that train speed remains at or below the commanded or posted civil speed limit 10, as to prevent collisions resulting from going too fast to stop within the available distance, and to prevent derailments due to excessive speed on curves or through switches. A basic form of automatic train control has been used by many major railroads since the 1920s. When a signal aspect is restrictive, an electromagnetic device is activated between the rails, which in turn causes an audible warning to sound in the cab of any train passing over it. If the operator fails to respond appropriately, after a short interval the train brakes are applied automatically. A refinement, generally known as Automatic Train Protection ATP, has been developed since World War II to provide continuous control of train speed. It has been applied principally to busy urban commuter and rapid transit routes, and to European and Japanese intercity high-speed routes. Among other automatic aids to railroad operation is the infrared hotbox detector, located at trackside, it detects the presence of an overheated wool bearing and alerts the train crew. On the train, data comprising train weight, length, braking capability and maximum technically permitted speed are necessary to ensure compliance with speed limits set by the ATP system. Usually, the train consist data must be input by the driver before the train starts its journey. Let's take the example of an ATP system, ETCS, the European Train Control System. ETCS is the control component of the European Rail Traffic Management System, ERTMS. It's a replacement for legacy train protection systems and designed to replace the many incompatible safety systems currently used by European railways. In Level 1, ETCS is installed on lineside and on board, spot transmission of data from track to train via Eurobuluses or Euroloops. For Level 2, as Level 1 but Eurobuluses are only used for the exact train position detection. The continuous data transmission via GSMR with the Radio Block Center, RBC, give the required signaling information to the driver's display. A line equipped with ATP system corresponds at least to a grade of Automation 1. Learn more about the different levels of automation by watching our video grade of automation available on our YouTube channel.